Mountains, tall, deep, strong, a symbol of adventure and strength. Do you hear their call? I hear, and I keep going. I love stealing moments from life. I love to gaze the sunset sky. I love exploring new places, meeting new people, learning their culture. Hello everyone, welcome to Wings of Joy. Do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. The enchanting mountains of Kurk is a must visit, so without wasting any time, let's get there. Welcome to the land of brave men and beautiful women. They have unique customs. Also, they are the only race in India allowed to carry guns without a license. Did you know? Kodavus were free from caste system. Did you know they are Hindus yet pork is their main dish? No wonder with the sprawling coffee plantations, Kurk is the largest coffee producer in India. But hello, did you know women are mostly in charge of those plantations? Yes. I will keep sharing such amazing facts of this beautiful place throughout my video. So watch it till the end. Timestamps for this video is provided in the description box below so you can directly go to your interesting section and watch that piece. Welcome to my drive to Kurk and to my first mistake. I kind of stretched my schedule in Mysore and we started off pretty late for Kurk and trust me for a moment we were lost. The GPS was misleading, we were not being able to find directions for Taj Madhikari. We had to stop by, knock at a door and then ask for direction. The frustrations continued as this road also had no light and really wasn't giving the vibes of Taj. I was so excited to watch the view from the lobby but it was all pitch dark. So absolutely bad timing from my side. Taj Madhikari has been on my bucket list since last four years so it was a very special moment for me and my frustrations were increasing until I stepped inside my premium villa and such a sweet welcome and the room was so spacious immediately dun -dun -dun. so this is beautiful Kodago architecture with sloping roofs and tall pillars and these guys are already waiting so we couldn't stop gorging on these tasty yummy kurk delectables. If you're a foodie and appreciate authentic flavors, you must buy spices from kurk. Stay tuned and I'll tell you from where to buy. Kaid rehna kisi pasand? Par agar ho ishq ho, to umar kaid bhi sara ko. In vaadiyo se kuch. Good morning everyone and no points for guessing the first thing you from the lobby. This place feels so heavenly, trust me. I feel like sitting here all day. But there are plans and we gotta go. The three musketeers are all set for some adventure. What are you up to? Zip lining. Zip lining, zip lining all geared up, wow. So how long is this zip line? This zip line is 500 meters. 500 meters and it will take? Two minutes. Two, minutes. Oh wow, so you all are not scared? No. no. Ishan, you are also not scared? And it is 30 feet high. So the man who will build the cat first. Yeah, I know. 
just like this music, you also might get stuck halfway. But there's nothing to panic as their trained professionals are waiting on the other side of the zip line to rescue you in such a scenario. So relax, breathe and just enjoy this amazing experience. Yes, we all enjoyed and had lots of fun. Through these fields, we trek back to hotel and it leads us to this beautiful poolside. The view of this place at night is mesmerizing. During our visit, this poolside restaurant was closed, but in the future you all can enjoy. Ready? Coming back to reality, we went Go. for a property tour. It's a pleasure to have Pradhan with us. He's the naturalist of this lush property. So this is a rainforest property of 180 acres where the built up area is just 30 acres the rest 150 acres we have untouched forest which has been protected for the wildlife around we don't believe not a single tree has been cut wow. for the construction rather we have converted most of the open area into a forest in last 12 years there has been more than 70,000 endemic fruiting trees that has been planted within the property how many days, months or years it took to construct this? So this place is the heart of the Western Ghats, which is the Malabar coast. So we have a almost six month long monsoons here. Uh -huh. We can't do any construction work during the monsoon. Why this property took seven long years. For seven long? <laughs> <laughs> so for the construction, all the bricks were made within the property, all the recycled woods were used. Wow, because well, there was no transportation there possible. There was no transportation, no raw materials could be easily brought in. Wow. So we dug all the soil, the laterite soil from within the property and we made all the bricks for the construction. Wow. We have used the yellow laterite soil for painting all the cottages here. This region no one would be able to make that out. It's no, done no. so beautifully. <laughs> and who, who was like the mastermind or the architect? The owner of this property. Okay. So Pramod Ranjan Reddy okay. and he approached Taj, Taj and it okay, has been yeah, leased out to Taj from 2012 December. Okay. So Taj is managing this property now. The locals use these jamuns for making wine. Most of these wild fruits that you see around in these jungles are all used by the locals for making homemade wines. Jamun, coffee wines, pan wines, oh, wow. ladies are the one who prepare these wines and Mainly the wines are consumed only by ladies in this region. Oh. <laughs> so all the localites here, they will either, you know, one of the family member will be in army or in sports? Yes. Wow. So you find a gun and a hockey stick in every family, in the, every house in food, in the Padawas. Oh. The favorite food for the wild elephants. Oh. So we are the region where we have the highest number of wildlife and wild elephants in the country. And in Karnataka state, we got more than 6,000 wild elephants around here. Because elephants are very selective. They, uh. don't, they need 60 liters of water every day and 200 kilos of food, each elephant. Each elephant. These are coffee beans? These are coffee beans. Wow. So this is Arabica, which is the light and aromatic coffee which most part of the world grows. doesn't even smell like coffee no? sure. until they are roasted. So this is what most of part of the South American countries grow, the major coffee producing nations, Arabica. Arabica. It's very light and aromatic. And these are Robusta. Okay. This is the strong coffee. Robusta, once you plant, you no need to worry for next 200 years. 200 <laughs> years? That's the reason why we grow Robusta. And the Robusta plant can grow as big as these trees. Only region in the world where eco-friendly shade-grown coffee is grown. That's the reason why we cannot use any machines. All other countries, the major coffee growing nations, they grow sun-grown coffee in open sunlight, where they clear the forest and grow coffee like tea plantation, where they use the machines. This is all commercially grown. So 96 to 97 percent of the coffee which is grown here is exported to Italy, Germany and UK. They are the highest of the sheep grown coffee. It's a small herb garden. 
you can you should just smell or even taste this natural can we can we a discovery to the beauty of farm fresh i was completely lost in this aromatic garden so this is a small patch where we grow for the guest you can go and pluck the strawberries on your wow, wow. this patch but on the other side we have a larger patch where we almost get 8 to 10 kilos every day for next 6 months 12 years back this place was dug out to construct this property and today it's a beautiful lake this place will always have a piece of my heart not because of the luxury they offer but because of the love and respect they have for nature the way they are trying each day to preserve it to nurture it hats off oh yes i have to come here once again to enjoy the chilling vibes of this infinity pool and enjoy the panoramic view it has to offer i truly truly missed this Until once again we can plunge into the pool. Let's enjoy the bath tub. This was most relaxing. Good night. Even before you enter Kirk you can feel the serene vibes here at Golden Temple the monastery built in 1963 features Tibetan art and architecture and exudes tranquility i would highly recommend this in the proximity of 15 minutes to Golden Temple is this beautiful island Nisarg Dhamma the bamboo groves the hanging bridge and the different rides make this place perfect for family There's no dearth of adventure when in Kirk. If you want to come up close and personal with elephants, this is the place. Kids would surely love and also there's river rafting for more adventurous souls. One of my personal favorite is Raja's seat. Erstwhile kings used to watch the spectacular sunset with their queens here. This place has beautiful gardens and not to miss the toy train ride. When here don't forget to fill your shopping bag with aromatic spices. In the heart of Madikeri town is this shrine of Shiva Omkareshwar. Nestled in Brahmagiri hills, Talakavari is famous for being the source of origin of river Kaveri. Abbey Falls is extremely popular among tourists visiting Kork. The heritage resort is also a stunning option in Kirk. Their infinity pool, hut-like cottages and lush green landscape gives you the feel of Kirk. Goodbyes are difficult, but before leaving, let us hear one more fascinating fact about Kirk. Kirk is defined by coffee, but it's also the valley of honey. How do you attract those bees here? <laughs> that's, that's this the, is this is unique. The Kudia tribes who work in the property, who take care of this gardening, horticulture, they were uh, experts. They are honey gatherers who used to live in the mountains, collect the honey bees from the jungle. Okay. And we place these boxes, and we make a trap inside these boxes for the queen bee. So queen bee will be always the double the size of the normal yeah. worker bees. There is a trap made so for the queen. So the queen trapped. is trapped in, so she cannot go out. So the workers will follow and they'll never leave. We make a ready-made comb. Let's show this beautiful property to everyone and return with bags.
filled with memories. <laughs>